Hi, this is Pat at Canadian Savings Group and this is our YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to read coupons. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about how to read a coupon and understand them. It seems easy to read coupons, but there are a lot of complicated areas on coupons to understand. Um, the amount of the coupon, the product the coupon covers, the expiry date, whether it's Canadian or not, and a printed coupon has to have a unique PIN number. In this video will explain everything you need to know so that you can read coupons and understand them. The next picture I'm going to show you uh, indicates the, the main details, the amount, the product, uh, Baby Dove, $2 off on any Baby Dove product. That's any Baby Dove product. So um, you have to read every single line on a coupon to understand it. They're extremely important and can be quite complicated at times. For example, limit one coupon per purchase means absolutely one coupon per product that you purchase. So if you're going to buy one uh, tube of Crest, you need one coupon for that. Uh, if you're purchasing six toothbrushes, you need six coupons. So one coupon per product per purchase. Um, using more than one coupon on a product is uh, stacking and that's not allowed in Canada unless you're shopping at London Drugs. As you can see on these coupons here it says limit one coupon per purchase. That's one coupon, not two, not three, just one. So six products, six coupons and you can go through checkout like that. I've given you lots of examples here of what it looks like on a coupon. Limit one coupon per purchase with conditions. Um, you can you can't you can never use two coupons per purchase because that's stacking and that's only allowed at London Drugs. But this coupon shows which products exactly this coupon can be used for. Now there's another condition: limit one coupon per customer. When you have a coupon that says limit one coupon per customer, it means you can only purchase one product during your transaction. You can only check out with one product and one coupon. Limit one coupon per person per customer. It's the same thing. One coupon per store visit. If you go out of the store and come back in, you're now a new customer. You can purchase it again. But you can only check out once with that product and that coupon. You can't buy five or six or seven of them. Always read your coupons very carefully. And they also sometimes say... Uh, you cannot use them with other coupons. So you can't stack them with other coupons. You can't use them in conjunction with other coupons. You have to be very careful with the wording on coupons. Uh, the next coupon shows what products the coupon is good on for Cloverleaf. Uh, specifically those products in the um, details on the back of the coupon. The expiry date is also extremely important. You can't use a coupon beyond its expiry date and all coupons have an expiry date. There are very few that have a no expiry date and NED. If you have any that are expired, toss them out. They're no good. Always check your coupons before you go to the store too. If you're printing coupons, most of them will have a UPC or a PIN number on them. Some will also have an offer number. Here's an example of the same coupon. They all have the same offer number, but they each have a unique PIN number. You also have to check that the remit to address is a Canadian address. It might be Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, uh, Scarborough, but it has to be in Canada. It can't be a U.S. address or that's a, a U.S. coupon. <clears throat> if you've ever wondered what kind of fine uh, coupon fraud carries, it's laid out specifically on most coupons and it tells you um, it's very strict and there have been people charged for coupon fraud. Be careful. Don't use your coupons inappropriately. Um, do the right thing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow our website, and learn to coupon uh, properly. Thank you for watching.